Top Defense Updates Project Kusha, developed by DRDO, is an indigenous long-range air defense system aimed at matching Russia's S-400 and surpassing the S-500 in future phases. Known as Arids or Glersam, it features three interceptor missiles M1, M2, M3 with ranges of 150 km, 250 km, and 350 km, targeting stealth fighters, ballistic missiles, AWACS, and drones. Costing 21,700 crore for five IAF squadrons, it's more economical than the S-400. $5.25 billion for five units, supporting India's Atmanurbhar Bharat initiative, equipped with advanced radars like the upgraded Swordfish 1,500 km range, and AI-driven systems. Phase I bridges the MRSAM 80 km and S-400 400 km gap, with deployment planned for 2028-29. Phase II will develop interceptors exceeding 400 km, with anti-hypersonic capabilities to counter threats like China's long-range missiles. Leveraging BMD program technologies, Kusha ensures high maneuverability and an 85-98.5% kill probability. Integrated with the IAF's IACCS, it enhances India's multi-layered defense, reducing reliance on foreign systems and bolstering strategic autonomy. India and Russia are set to revive high-level talks for co-developing the Brahmas II, a hypersonic cruise missile targeting speeds of Mach 6-8 and a range up to 1,500 km, potentially based on Russia's 3M22 Zircon. Initially proposed in 2008, the project faced delays due to Russia's reluctance to share scramjet technology, MTCR restrictions, and high costs. Renewed global interest in hypersonic weapons has spurred collaboration. The Brahmas II. Leveraging scramjet propulsion, aims to enhance India's strategic capabilities, building on the success of the Mach 3.5 Brahmas missile. DRDO's recent scramjet tests and India's MTCR membership bolster the program, with a focus on indigenous innovation. India and Russia are in talks to procure the advanced 29B6 container S over the horizon, off, radar system through a government-to-government -government deal, alongside discussions for the Voronez off radar. The Container S, operational in Russia since 2013, offers a detection range exceeding 3,000 km, capable of tracking stealth aircraft, ballistic missiles, and high-altitude targets up to 100 km. Its bistatic design and 240-degree coverage enhance India's air defense against regional threats like China's J-20 and Pakistan's J-35A. The modular radar system strengthens India's situational awareness and aligns with its broader defense cooperation with Russia, complementing systems like the S-400 and indigenous missile defense programs. Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited, an Indian public sector defense company based in Chennai, is exploring partnerships with Western defense firms, such as Belgium's John Cockerill and Israel's Elbit Systems, to develop next-generation light tanks for the Indian Army. This move aims to meet the Army's need for 295 light tanks optimized for high-altitude warfare, emphasizing advanced C4ISR integration, lightweight 120mm firepower, and composite modular armor for enhanced survivability. While AVNL previously considered collaboration with Russian firms for a Sprut SD-based design, it is now leaning toward Western technologies to align with India's strategic requirements and reduce reliance on single-vendor systems. Competing with DRDO's Zorauer Light Tank Project. Indian Coast Guard issues RFI to acquire 04 twin engine heavy lift helicopters. The helicopters should have an all up weight of 10 tons to operate from OPVs and 12 tons to operate from land bases. Thanks for watching.